So what progress do we have on the uh, companion quests? At Pavati, meet with Junlei Tennyson, the chief engineer. Return to the unreliable and ask Pavati about it. Okay, cool. Uh, talk to Jesse. We'll do that when we... We've got to come back here anyway, so... The empty man, locate a security terminal, that's for the vicar. And the cleaning machine, Sam, we have to do in the ship, so... Okay. So we've got the distress signal. Uh, we need to get back in our ship. CMP's near maple syrup. How dare they? How dare they? Chief wants to reduce board track. Rizzo's purpleberry fudge. Okay. Yeah, there's all this stuff up here as well. I remember being able to get up into these upper areas. Uh, because there's like places to go. Climb around and find them. We're gonna go and do this uh, this thingy quest first. The the signal, the Gladys. Careful with those crates, huh? It's all this over here. Some kind of storage room. I can't take any of that stuff without causing a problem, though. Where's the guy that we met in here? Heard from the lasses down on twenty-two that you did a contract. For He's over there now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I liked this character. I thought it was really funny. He's a bit of a jackass, but he's funny. Fancy running into you again. Yeah, outside my ship. What a coincidence. From up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Mm-hmm. Are you stalking me? No. That's pretty eager to throw in with someone you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. This is one of the best scenes in the early game. All right. Consider this your interview. Yes. Oh, I could do the temperament. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. No, no, no. Okay, Felix. This is your interview. Sure. An interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Hmm. What is the value of pie? Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust, maybe with a little cream on top. Classic. Um, I don't think this was the dialogue tree I went with before. This isn't the same thing. Hang on. Let me uh, let me just reload my quick save. I think it was the other one, because he does this really funny, like, long resume spiel that he has, like, he just goes off the cuff and it's really funny, I think. Unless I'm misremembering this. Fancy running into you again. Yep, yep, yep. Don't mind me. It's just, gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a, yes. Good throw in. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. Tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this is the better on, one. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. <laughs> hey there, I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. <laughs> Are you reading that off your hand? Yeah, it's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Continue. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, 
Thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? Hmm. All right, you're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. From me? Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. Well, we just met. Mm-hmm. See you on the ship, dude. I'll just get As in, like, right now, because that's where we're going. This is going to be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? I picked up you. Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. <laughs> nice choice of words. All right. So maybe we'll take him out on this mission. Uh, we'll have a look and see what kind of gear we've got for him, though. May need additional gear. Any more strays while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Now there's an idea, Ada. That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's see. We didn't really pick up lots of stuff while we were there, right? Other than just general junk. So I do have welders goggles. Guess we'll sell those. Vestments, and then there's my helmet. Oh, that's going up in my quarters. I want to put that in my uh, captain's trunk over here. Store that. And I guess as well, I'm going to keep um, the vicar's vestments here, just in case. Let's see what the crew's up to, and then we'll get a move on. Let's see, which room did he take as well? So that's the Vicar's room. This was Pavarti's room. So he takes this room. <laughs> oh, look at this. He's got chocolate bars, dark matter chocolate. Nice. Uh, interact with any of this? Examine, there we go. Felix's journal. Figured I should start writing my thoughts down just in case I ever start losing my mind. Felix, that's a great idea. What is this? Dissident Hunter Special Edition. Can Agent Khan rescue Auntie Cleo from the clutches of the Weekenders? <gasps> People who want time off? In praise of arson. This contraband collection of essays by anonymous um, anarchists calls for the total destruction of the corporate establishment and the apparatus of oppression. The book looks like it's never been opened. Oh god, he's one of those types of guys. Tossball poster, signed by two of the greatest players in the league, uh, uh, Karen, Saren, Karen, and Cameron Fraser. Is that all there is to look at? Man, he's traveling pretty sparse. Got a bunch of that. All right, where is he? He's just hanging here. What's up, um, Felix? Why is your hair suddenly gray? Good to see you, boss. So, how did you end up over there? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child. Right again. Abandoned at birth in the back base. Nope. That's... no. And then you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back base. I spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. Here it is. Folks on the groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. Mm-hmm. You weren't um, obliged to anyone else. Stowaways ain't free. We were just as trapped as anybody else. We didn't belong in the system, but we still had to live in it. We still had to play by the board's rules. Imagine spending your whole life looking out at the stars. And knowing you could never aspire to be anything more than a box hauler. That's what it's like. Yeah. Well, sounds rough. Where'd you find work? Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. The incident with the tossball stick. Could be I was overreacting. 
A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But that's boring. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick? That felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. Oh man, I don't have the skill for that one. Well look, if you and I have a disagreement, you better be civilized. I actually have a gun, so... Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized too. Genuflecting and everything. Well, we're really not that fancy. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks. Waiting for the day my ship arrives. Mm-hmm. Nah, you'd probably be in a prison cell. Oh yeah. I had a prison cell back on the Groundbreaker. Carved my name on the wall. I wonder if it's still there. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Jeez. Okay. We should also talk to um, Pavati about her uh, correspondence with uh, Tennyson. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Ship about to blow up? What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. Cool. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. Oh. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Of course, her last name is Tennyson. The poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Comes from the heart, you'd say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. Made my chest hurt, kinda. Aww. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't. They said I was cold. Hmm. Yeah, everybody's different. Well, you're the warmest person I've ever met to hell with them. Because she is. She's got she's warm in many different ways, so. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? Oh no. You okay? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Hmm. Were? Not anymore? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? He wants to go get a drink. <laughs> You said you don't drink. Will you be all right? If you're there, I'm sure things will be okay. Like, I mean, you wouldn't let nothing bad happen to me, right? Hell no. Thanks for asking, by the by. It means something to know you're looking out. All right, well, I guess that's what we're doing when we get back to the, the Groundbreaker. But first, we've got a distress signal to go and, you know, clearly an important thing, but anyway, we'll take our time. All right, um, picked up a distress call. Can you play it back? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death 
everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Alright, cool. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Yes, you do. So where... Terra 2? Oh, right. I thought we were going to a space station for some reason, or a ship. But apparently it's a place. Roseway. All right, back to Terra 2. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. All righty, let's get down there. Maybe we take our new guy. Let's have a look at his... Uh, he should have some stone. Oh my god, what is he carrying? He's got a grenade launcher and a toss ball stick. Of course he does. Uh, bonus support persuade. Persuade increases with Felix. So he's just got the one point for now. But what about his armor? He only has that. And we don't have anything to give him, so I guess we're going to have to pick something up while we're out. Or will we? Haha, uh -huh. just a little joke for you. Not funny, Ada. So, Felix and... I think Felix and Pavarti might be good. Felix and... No, Felix and the Vicar. These guys will be hilarious together. Pavarti's got shit to think about right now. Well, we're back on this planet. No guards, huh? I like this place already. Yeah, right. No guards. Uh, we have, however, the landing pad terminal. Okay, we have vending machines. Um. T and L. They have a load of guns. C and P have these riot armors. They're pretty cool looking. Anti Cleo have these advanced ballistics. I, I have like three, three grand to spend on this guy, so what do we want? Ordnance control. That's dialogue skill increase or stealth. That has. Dodge and Stealth. Block and Stealth. No, I i mean, these are 22 and 26 as well, but I don't want to spend that much money on them. Uh, we'll, we'll buy this for him. And what about a helmet? No helmets? This is getting a mismatched helmet. Hi, Felix. Uh... No offense, but if you're gonna roll with me, you gotta wear something better looking than that. Are there any things over here? Ooh, energy cells. These tubes look ominous. Uh, kind of like the thing you would store specimens in. All right. So, investigate Roseway, find potential company secrets that can be sold to the highest bidder. Taking, uh, uh, talking to the scientists around town would be a good place to start. Okay, okay. Shall begin. Something chewed clear through that armor. Tactical shotgun. Yeah, this place has seen better days. 
That's rumbling. I see you, Raptodoms. Don't mess with us. Obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no, no, no less than 10, 10, 10, 10, bits. Cool. Uh, free stuff. Oh, so this, this guy got run over. Squish. Well, it's like he's going to find this Raptodon. Oh, that's five. Hmm. Do I want to spend five maglocks and put through this thing? There's canids over there. Let's have a look at the map, actually. How big is it? It's quite a bit to do. Quite a few places to go. Should have put up a sign. Don't open Raptodons inside. Hmm. Don't dead open inside? Is that the sign we're looking for? A detour. Well... Adventure does favor the bold. No, no, I'm just looking for loot. You're gonna learn this about me, Vicar. See what's going on inside. Oh boy. Oh boy, this place is broke as hell. Hi. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened to you? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Uh-huh. You said they broke loose. Did you have them caged? Um, forget I said anything about that. Uh-huh. Well, what can you tell me? Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. And what do they taste like? Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Ugh. Anything else you'd like to know? Uh, yeah, did you send the distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Oh. Got me. I just do what I'm told. And I was told not to do such. Okay, well, who is in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. That's one of the names. He he's panicking inside the comm center. And what were you doing outside? What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Uh-huh. Oh, before I forget, Anticleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice pedals. Wow. Shade already been thrown. It's my spacer's choice friends. Well. Wonder. Find out what we can see. Ooh. Life's on the phone.
was stealing. I can't talk to the chicken. Underestimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship, she's okay. But Lunsford has the highest rate of foot goals per game. But if you cross reference. I got 500 bits on the Darlings taking the finals this year. The stats are better. I'm not going to find a lot of stuff in here. It's all going to be stealables. Living in there would rank only slightly better than prison. The ventilation shaft the bar. from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill. The what a delightfully dingy establishment. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make Dingy. Track. Wanna treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? Um... You get to get rid of me. I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. No time for questions? Sure. Not like I get many customers. Do you ever get tired of selling anti Cleo's products? <gasps> Her face is about to just set fire with anger. Can't say I do. Anti Cleo products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. At least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Annie Cleo products. Oh, because that's the only thing you sell. These days we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. I hear it's like that all over the colony. We eat what we can get, and we don't get much. Why is this place called the 17th Bar? What happened to the first 16 bars? I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. <laughs> Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. What? Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years. Exciting times. Wow, the corporate machine moves really quickly. How do you make money with so few people here? Technically, I'm not in business at all. Roseway closed down years ago. Oh, okay. But still sends us the occasional shipment of necessities through unofficial back channels. Of course, if something goes wrong, like one of our guards drinking himself to an early grave or raptodons running wild. Like now? Corporate won't acknowledge we ever existed. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Well, what do you sell? Sure. You need something to clean Raptin on blood out your clothes? That is literally it. Drinks and tobacco products. Okay. Takes care of all the nutritional needs, huh? Alright. Well, who do we speak to first, I wonder? Uh, we could speak to Anton or Orson. Let's speak to Orson first. What is... Let's go in here. Hi. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. <laughs> uh, I'm not here to kill you. Oh, you aren't Quite the outlaws? opposite. Who are you then? Um, hmm. Heard there was trouble, thought I'd check it out. Oh, well, good luck. Now, if it got the carpet in here, it's just a matter. Okay. <laughs> um. Of course, because I didn't. What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. Uh huh. Science 25. If you run a wire from your capacitor there, you can bypass the circuit and save power. I. Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Looks lethal. Are you, are you allowed to mess with that? Certainly not. But Porter and his goons are busy with the outlaws, and Anton's busy holding his head in his hands. Seems as good a time as any to get a bit of work done. Sure. Need a hand? No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Uh, perhaps. Dude, do you want a hand or not? ...in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Huh? Care to elaborate? I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those schematics to modify it to output superheated air. It should quite easily burn through raptodon hides. Okay, and where is it? Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. All right, I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Oh. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Uh huh. Okay. So there's Vaughn and there's Anton. Let's go speak to Vaughn next. He's in here where we just were. Did I miss a room? Oh, I did. It's all the way over here. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Von Cortez. Uh, Dr. Von Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Hmm. Where were you when the outlaws attacked? Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. <laughs> to work, yes. Work. My secret stuff. You look nervous. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? Am I right? Uh huh. Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? Are we talking about an actual head? You already have one, but if you want a different one, I can go and find one. Um. Explain the details. I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. Erectile dysfunction. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Seriously. Captain, I believe he's making enraptured. It's an aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No? I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high, but I'm not making the drug. The results are outside the margin of error. Technically. Sure. Of course. 
Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. Okay. Second lab down the road. Why are there two labs? The newer lab is built for, um, more sensitive work. We mostly use the old lab for storage these days. Mm-hmm. Anything you can tell me? <laughs> uh, no. But there are outlaws shooting it up. I'm guessing it hasn't been secret for a while. And when, uh, when I get there, what do you want me to do? My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Hmm, is it valuable? If you have a buyer. I got a contact who wants to haul the entire batch to Byzantium. Help me out, I'll cut you in for a share. I'll even pay you before I am, when you deliver to me. Okay, I'll do it. Great. <sighs> this is really going to save my ass. All right. So we're now in the drug running business. Cool. This should prove a worthwhile endeavor. I know, right? Helping people with their uh, social charisma. Mm-hmm. Sounds worthwhile to me. So we're stacking up quite a few missions here. Uh, to the region map. Yeah, holy cow. Uh, we have then... We came from over here. This is the landing pad. So... Distress signal, distress signal, distress signal. All right. This is just all that we need to see for this one quest. For the schematics that we need to go and get and help a guy with his weird experiment in the second lab. Uh, hey, you are Anton Crane. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Uh, you must be Anton Crane. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Yeah, it looks fantastic out here. Um, that what you call hiding in an abandoned town surrounded by raptodons? Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. Damn right. Self-preservation is not something to be ashamed of, Felix. Flagrant incompetence, on the other hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not to mention being up to an obvious no good. What are you doing here, Anton? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why cancel the distress call? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. I'll go with Intimidate. Tell me what you're actually doing here, I will let them know myself. And take great joy in doing so, I might add. Yeah. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. And you can trust my discretion. You're formulating a new and improved dental gel. They're making toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. Well, no, 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 for sure, but why be so coy about it? Oi, oi, oi. Please do. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Appetite suppressant. Hmm. Diet toothpaste. <laughs> oh no. Yes, you can couch it however you like. It's just diet toothpaste not just any diet toothpaste the ultimate diet toothpaste it's not worth your life i wouldn't care if it was the ultimate rocket fuel oh, maybe i would certain it could be made into that as well with only a few changes to its molecular composition but you're missing the point 
Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Apazap? What? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. What do you need? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us. Shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Mm-hmm. Okay. A little over dramatic. No, realistic. I don't get that research back, I'll be released from my indenture contract. Hmm. Good thing. You can't be serious. No contract, no work. No work, you're a pariah, cast out, shunned. Soon you'll find yourself among... deserters. <gasps> deserters? You know, dregs, ne'er-do-wells, eking out a horrible existence on the periphery of society. Oh, guys like Felix. That's not my fate. I don't relish being sent to some backwater corporate township. Are they paying this guy to be a jackass, or is he doing it for free? Felix, your hair keeps changing colour. I'm suspicious. Like it was grey on it was brown on the groundbreaker, it was grey on the ship, now it's black in heat. Hmm. Yeah, aren't you already a backwater corporate township, Anton? This is temporary and simply a means to an end. Okay, well, I will help you. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. I remember this quest now. A very long quest. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. Jameson. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. Wow, you're really a good mentor. Hey, You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't you think it weighs on me? He now that you've remembered, maybe. All of them were, are, regardless of their thinking on the matter. If he has died, too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name. And far too much paperwork. That paperwork, that's the real problem, right? Hmm. So all you care about is how this affects you. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. No, callousness just comes with ambition, so... Hmm, what should I mistake it for? Compassion? Or... See how one could do exactly that. Can't know. Let's go with the first. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Yeah, okay. But I just wanted to hear you admit that you're a heartless bastard. Thanks. Believe what you will. But I'm not the manipulative, ego driven person you think me to be. I'm not. You're selfless, right? Yeah. All right, I'll take your word for it. And my colleague, Jameson, will you find him for me? I will. But not for you, for him. I'll do it for Jameson. Boy, oh boy, these guys. Right, so we've got a lot of places to go now. So we've got to acquire Anton's research, Vaughn's research, and the weapon plans. And we've got to use gas to put all the Raptodons to sleep so that we don't have to kill the mother. I remember this being a... This, this lab facility is huge. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to leave it there for the day, and we'll be back tomorrow. All right. Continue. I've done a little bit of inventory cleanup as well off stream uh, just this morning, ran around, cleaned up. And also, I swapped out the mag pistol for the shotgun. I put 
a larger clip on it because it's only six shots. Um, so now it's got nine. And I gave it the fun time barrel that we picked up a while back. And that gives it crit damage, like 25% or something. Really cool. And then I tweaked it in the, I tinkered with it in the, in the uh, modification bay to bring it up to like level 13, I think it is. Let's have a look. Level 14. So it's, it's a beast. <laughs> Look at that, nearly 400 DPS. It's a monster compared to the other guns. Well, that one's pretty good as well. Uh, the assault rifle. Uh, the plasma rifle, not so good, but it's level 12, but it's not very powerful. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's more can be done with that. Moment. Okie dokie. So, yeah, and I still have my assault rifle. Okay, so let's pick up from where we left off. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I've done a little bit of inventory cleanup. You like big guns, I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> and we've got quite a few things to do on the main quest we need to or well, we've got to purchase the nav key but we're here on the distress signal side quest uh this is us getting the nav key if we deal with this and get some intel we found out they're basically making a um they're basically making toothpaste using raptodon slime glands or some other bullshit. I, I wasn't really paying attention. Guy spoke a lot of science nonsense and I was like, mm, okay, whatever. You're making diet toothpaste. It's apparently an appetite suppressant toothpaste. I mean, you know, innovation and all that, but we have three tasks to do. Um, we need to retrieve awesome schematics for a hammer and we need to help out an abandoned experiment. Um, a guy wants us to go and collect his data on an experiment that's still running at the lab. Uh, we need to save a guy called Jameson, um, who is at the bio lab just down the road. We're going to do that first because that's nearby. And um, then we need to eliminate the outlaws, deal with the raptodons without killing them if possible. And we need to go to Anton's safe and recover his data as well. We got a lot to do. <laughs> we gotta clear this colony, but we can do it all in one fell swoop. Where do we go? So we need to go down here for the bootstrap quest. So we go out of the south gate, which is this way. That looks tiny compared to mine. Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. Kind of looks a bit small. Boost the volume of the game. This game seems really quiet a lot. The menu music is really loud. And then the game is very quiet. Ooh. An advanced helmet. Okay. Raptodon Colossus. Uh, Canid Ferals. These guys are going to attack us, aren't they? I have your back. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, and our uh, Felix over here has got a grenade launcher. The best there ever was. Damn, I blew this thing's head off. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, I may be going down into town after I finish streaming. <laughs> and uh, we may be going out for dinner. I had planned as well today to make something else, just in case. Yeah, I know, right? Um, there are some of... Oh, that's a mechanical sentry. Let's deal with that guy with 
good old shooty rifle. I would planned to make something as well today in case, you know, because I wasn't expecting her to say let's go out for dinner or potentially let's go out for dinner. Um, I was going to make this thing where I chop up chicken and I mix it with a can of condensed Campbell's broccoli soup, uh, which you then pour half a can's worth of milk into, and I usually put a dollop of sour cream and some chicken stock powder. In it goes, vegetables, and just simmer it in a pan. And then I also boil off or part boil uh, some diced potato. And then I layer it up in a casserole once it's once the chicken's mostly cooked through and the potatoes are just tender but not falling apart. And then you top it with the stuffing mix, like sage and onion stuffing mix. And you bake it in the oven and uh, do that until the stuffing mix goes golden. Where did that guy go while I was chatting? Um, there he is. Here we go! Got him, boss! Oh, shit, there's another one. Um... Okay, I was like, why is this thing... Does it not have a health bar? <laughs> Damn. Sounds like fun food, any cheese on it. Not with the stuffing mix, no, but you can do it with pasta. Like if you parboil some pasta instead of doing potatoes, put in some parmesan and top it with cheese once it's baked. Like you bake it like that and then you put cheese on top and leave it to rest. Like put a lid back on it and leave the cheese to melt for like five minutes after you take it out of the oven. That's a really good dish as well. And you basically do the same as what I just said. You know, it's the same condensed broccoli soup, reconstituted, although I generally make that with a little bit more milk. So there's more sauce to, uh, for the pasta to pick up and use like spiral pasta, maybe. Uh, oh. to Don spitters, shut your mouth. You're spitting aloud. Ah, spitting at me! Gross! Ah! Where? Where? Oh, here. Oh no, I'm burning, I'm burning! Okay, can this be done now, or what? Okay, good. These guys... I'm, I'm such a loot goblin, I really am. Gotta grab everything though, right? I mean, look at this, there's free money on these bodies. So yeah, you, you can do that as well. Um, you know, make like a, a chicken noodle casserole out of it, just with more milk, spiral pasta, because it, the spiral pasta I find just grabs the sauce better. Oh, it just gets that sauce and just scoops it all up. So you need to have more liquid in there. But then, yeah, you top it with cheese. Here we go. I knew there was something else around here. What else? Ah, bypass shunt. Nice. Ugh. That image still gets me. What is she holding? It's very testicular. Alright, so... Pick up a uh, Clio Lab office keycard. Yes, please. Uh, get me some more ammo. Ooh. Got another mag upgrade. Another trooper helmet. Uh, another tactical shotgun from the corporate com corporate commander. What is this? The Angry Joe show? Jesus, corporate commander. That's the reason why they made spiral pasta and other shapes can hold sauce better. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly why it exists. It, it just takes all the sauce and locks it in. So you need to make more sauce whenever you use spiral. For instance, if you use something else, tagliatelle, for instance, don't drown it in sauce. You know, and spaghetti, don't drown it in sauce because it's not going to grab it much. You know? And I like shell pasta when I have, like... Um, small fillings, you know, things like a ground beef or 
tuna flakes or something like that, like a tuna pasta bake, I always made it with shell pasta because I found that the shell would just grab all the food and it would just create little mini stuffed shells within the, the food itself. Here we go. Security lockdown. Feeling irate. Try anti Cleo's uh, Nar chocolate. Uh, le 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 Nar chocolate bars with 3% uh, of real CCN76. Nice. I like my chemicals to be real. Uh, lift the lockdown on the hallway door is open. Protocol. Uh, as, a, as is protocol, unauthorized entry will be marked in Site Supervisor Crane A's records. What have we got here? Three messages from R. Porter. Need a new code to the armory lockover in the storage facility. Make it complicated so Orson can't sneak in there again. Do not write it down this time. Use your brain. From Martinez. How about, uh, is, how about in this order... The month of your birthday, one, how many security rotations we have per hour, two, the number of accidents we've had this month involving that damn culture processor, three, and the maximum volume in millimeters of raptid on stomach acid a human being can ingest before we consider it lethal, four. From Porter, th <laughs> sounds fine, thanks. Ay ay ay. these guys, they deserve to get killed, don't they? Holy shit. Ooh. So much loot. Please pick that up, thank you. Bit cartridges. Stuff and stuff and things. More things. Even more stuff and things. Okay, that looks like it leads deeper in. Where does this go? The bathroom. Oh, and the bathroom. My kind of door. Yeah, the big smoldering open door. Goes through here and into a room. With these beasties. I've had quite enough of you. Boom! Get it. Hell yes. That had to hurt. Well done. We're still alive. I like using the special abilities. That's pretty good. Got a purple berry crunch, was it? Nice. Handled beautifully. With spaghetti, you can have a bit more sauce if you get one uh, that was uh, squeezed on bronze. Uh, surface is a bit more rough, so I can uh, so it can hold a bit more sauce. Really, I did not know that was a thing. Interesting. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Spacer's choice: bronze spaghetti. Now with fifty percent more bronze. <laughs> Who said you needed iron in your diet, after all? <laughs> Hello, Nathan Enderman. Welcome, and thank you for the new follow. Welcome to the channel. There's more up there. Any more loot down here first? Oh, I'm such a loot goblin. Oh, my God. Uh, ah, I see. Oh, it's empty. Disappointing. Okay, where does all this go? Oh boy, big monsters is where it goes. Run! Charge! Get around behind! Oh god, that's a big one. Oh, hi. In one piece. Get them all. Yeah. Um, <sighs> Max, you've got a. Oh, that's fine. You're good. Okay. Who wanted to fill it, this thing? Hmm? We are not barbecuing raptodons, guys. If you bypass the next time, look at the surface, if you have a flat surface and has some, uh, some have a rough surface. Interesting. I'll have a look at that then. So I'm guessing that's like the pasta rollers are made out of different materials, huh? We do actually, uh, we have a pasta roller machine, which I haven't even opened out of the box. I haven't grabbed it and had a good look at it yet. One of these days I do want to make a homemade pasta with it. And Shy and I can enjoy some homemade pasta. Help! <laughs> help! Hi Jameson! A human's voice. I saw that in a cereal once. Dude, Felix, shut up. 
Uh, Jameson, there's more loot out here and more places to clear. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go, look. Security blade. Didn't help this guy, did it? What's through here? Helmet. And I'm gonna need to start breaking down some of this loot first, aren't I? What is that? Purpleberry punch. Delicious. The last piece with the holes, can't remember the name, is made from two different metals and bronze is making the rough surface. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely have a look. Maybe our pasta machine has that. I don't know. Um, like I say, I've, I've not even taken it out of the box and had a look at all the components to put it all together. But I, I wanted to, to like roll out a nice sheet of pasta and make homemade tagliatelle, uh, but also um, roll out the sheets and make raviolis as well. I need the crimping. So, I mean, I guess you could use a fork to crimp it at the edges, but it looks better if you get one of those proper cutters, you know, that does like the little ripply effect around the edge. That'd be good. Okay, experiment notes. Objectives. Determine the maximum amount of raptodon digestive acid that can be safely ingested by humans before adverse effects prevent, present themselves. Or, we learned that earlier. Is this a test? <sighs> Proposed procedure, slowly introduce increasing amounts of raptodon digestive acid into the evening meals of randomly selected workers and observe their overall health? Jesus. Ah, oh, foot one millimeter, minor stomach pain, nausea, safe. That's not safe. Two millimeters, minor stomach pain, extreme nausea, safe. That's even less safe. Three millimeters, major stomach pain, debilitating nausea, some vomiting, potentially unsafe in, in the workplace. Potentially unsafe. It's possibly, it's possible that debilitating nausea and vomiting is potentially unsafe. Probably because, you know, that vomit is going to cause a slippery work surface for people to slip on on the hallways. Not good. Health and safety hazards, yeah. Trust me, you can't make proper pasta uh, like that at home. All you can do is uh, fresh pasta, which is good for soups and such. Really? Hmm. I didn't think it would... I thought it would just be like, you know, that you'd then dump it in a pot of water, blanch it and boil it, and then do whatever you need with it, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, either way, I still kind of want to play with the machine and see what I can do with it, so... Yeah, and you know, I did want to make, uh, there's a recipe that I have saved, on my, maybe it's on my phone app, I think it's on my phone app for chicken noodle soup, so could consider it with that. Five millimeters, unable to record symptoms as patient died within the hour. How dare they? They have no respect for science. Dying before they could report their symptoms, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Oh, that goes probably onto the balcony outside. Let's double check. I love that. The, those fake windows on the fronts of buildings is really cool. Yeah, this comes to this uh, ramp that we saw when we did the ramp. We did a loot check. Antipillars. They look gross. Okay, let's check downstairs, see if the whole place is clear. It is not clear because there's... Several things down here. Nice toss ball stick. Good to know that he wields it well. I mean, he did tell us in his rather amusing job interview yesterday. I love that scene. That was a lot of fun. Okay, rightio. Um, oh, big chest. This will probably lead us back into the entryway. Yes. Okay. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so this just led us back into here. Okay. Right, I think we've cleared the whole building. Make good pasta for dishes. You need to make it from semolina with proper water portions and then dry it. And drying is nearly impossible with a home setup. Oh, okay. So, hmm. 
I thought you basically just made the fresh pasta and like quick boiled it and that was it. So I guess I'm wrong. Did I read these? No, I did not. According to my records, January 23rd is your birthday. As is protocol, please feel free to enjoy one 10 minute break between your normally scheduled three o'clock and four o'clock patrol shifts. I sincerely hope that this uh, on this day, you take a moment to enjoy the fresh air of Terra 2. Brought to you by the thorough kindness of Auntie Cleo. Wow. Workplace perks? Auntie Cleo sounds like a good employer. I didn't grab all of this. All right. Hi. Did someone lift the lockdown? Yes, I lifted the lockdown. Uh, do enjoy your freedom. First. What? How the hell did you get in here? Door. <laughs> First I shot the raptodons, then I walked up the stairs and... No, not... To... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Mm. <laughs> Truth be told, the Raptodons did most of the work on the door. I'm not sure they know what a lock is. Damnable beasts. At least I'm not trapped here anymore. I'll see you back at town. Yeah, stay safe. Oh. Bit cartridges. What else? More bit cartridges. And some ammo. Nice. Okay, uh, so we just did that. We can talk to Anton when we get back to town. Uh, deal with the abandoned experiment and Vulcan's hammer. I think this one's outside uh, the main lab. Yeah, it's over there. We're gonna go do that one next. We're gonna go and get the hammer. Fun fact, Italians were able to make dry pasta in the old times because they were in a really specific terrain and climate that the weather alone could dry it. From what I know, it's only a few places on Earth like that. I guess if you live in a very humid climate, you wouldn't be able to properly dry it, right? Then again, I'm, I'm living in a desert climate now, <laughs> so it is possible that it could be dried here as well. Um, I guess we'd see. Okay, uh, what are we going to put these skills into? I've been kind of slacking off on ranged weapons. Let's do that at the very least. What does Long Gun 40 give us? Crit damage increase. I'm going to get that. And heavy weapons as well. I am going to get... A couple more dialogue points, maybe? Oh. Stealth hack and lockpick. Yeah, let's put it all in there. 25% more bits in containers, yes. That's what we live for. Man, look at that though, I can't do that. Unlock access to restricted items in vending machines. Close though, close. We'll stick a point in that next time. What perk do I want? Additional ammo stocks and consumables. I don't usually, I'm finding plenty out and about in the world. Companion crit rates, uh, weapon durability loss, yes. And then next time we get a perk, two more levels from now, we can get more carry capacity. Because you know me, I need it. Felix has a level. 20% damage to cowering enemies. Melee damage, armor rating, range damage increase in general. Now let's keep going with his special capabilities. And Vicar Max. Dialogue Combat Effectiveness. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Boom. We're out. Alright. We need to go get a hammer next. Over there somewhere. So we go cross country. You, uh, Terra Two. What a mud ball. A Marauder Vandal. Hi. Here they come. Doom. Oh. Oh. oh where the hell did he come from? Oh. Just took every limb he had. 
and just removed it in a, in a mist of blood. Let the other guy's body go. That was it, I guess. And this guy here. Damn, this shotgun is brutal. <laughs> What have we got here? Hi! Boom! Took his head! Boom! You come in shotgun range. Ooh. Very satisfying. Alright. Am I wrong for looking at this colossal machine of destruction and thinking, Felix, you should hijack that? No, Felix, you are not wrong, but we won't be doing it. We will, however, go and have a quick look at it. Love a good bro! That was done for you. They have mines. Yeah, that's right. Boom! You better cower. I'm on it. Go kill him. Ah. Ah. Boom! Yo! Oh, he's still alive. Well, that's not good. Ah. Ah. I was just getting started. Yeah, well, you should have finished. All right. Oh, hey, Max, you uh, back on your feet? Where were the other bodies? Ah, here's one. Here's one. All the raptodons. Ow! Fuck! They have mines. <laughs> yeah, helpful reminder. Every time I forget they have mines, there's a helpful reminder every time I step on one of them that they have a mine. Mm. To whom it may concern, I've been an anti-Cleo man my whole life. When I got promoted to the Roseway deforestation team, I felt privileged and honored. I believe anti-Cleo was going to tame the wild landscape and pave it with civilization better than nature. That's your motto. I wanted to be part of that initiative. I wanted to see Roseway become an objective, an object of the uh, envy among corporate outposts. I wanted to wave our quarterly reports in front of every Spacer's Choice worker I've ever known and laugh in their face. I, wa I worked from dawn to dusk without a word of complaint. And now you have me working on building walls around the town. We've given up on expansion and half of the town's already been relocated. Worst of all, the deforestation team's been disbanded and my equipment's left to rust in the landscape. If you're reading this, you have found my letter of resignation. I would rather make my own way as an outcast living uh, um, outside of the law than work under these conditions. Damn! A guy with actual sense. That's what you get. Yep, that is what you get. Cool. Uh, it doesn't look as though we can get into this thing, though, which is a shame. I would have liked to have climbed in there and had a good look. Well, uh, we need to go this way. I am digging this shotgun. I'm not normally a shotgun guy in games. With the exception of, uh, exception of Doom and Half-Life, I never liked shotguns much. But this one's nice. Got uh, tamed canids. Oh, well, there might be marauders back here. Yeah, there is. There's a marauder over there. Hi. Oh, fuck. Mines. Ah! Ah! Don't they go? Stay away! 
That's right, bitch! Boom! Ow! Fuck, what? Damn! The temptation to go running in. <laughs> Guns blazing. Though, that's one of the downfalls of having a shotgun. You kinda just forget and go running in. And then you get killed by everything. Oh, there we go. There's a mine. See, they're hiding amongst these uh, yellow fucking thingies. All right. So this is a storage facility, if I remember correctly. Let's let's do the rounds around the building first and see if we can't find more problems to make. Uh, oh, hi. Here's one. No good, boss. Try another weapon. You want some of this? Oosh! Kick him, and I'll finish him. Tag team. Where that came from? Hell yeah. Hey, Miss Prague. I came for the Spacer's Choice clickbaits. Nice. It's working. <laughs> How's it going? Nice to see you. I do hope you are well and that you are winning. So I'm doing great. Despite the fact I've run over several landmines in short order, uh, <laughs> I'm not doing bad at all. Just, you know, looting random legs, picking up people's purple berry punch, stealing their foods and their ammo. Flamethrower! Nice. I do like me a flamethrower, but I'm gonna switch over to the plasma rifle now for a little while. Keep rotating them weapons. Is there anything else around here? Yes, you see this this pays to, to do a lap around the building. Ooh. That. Vented Mark III helmet. It's worse than what I'm currently using at a higher level as well. Hmm. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Exactly. You tried the best now. Try the rest. <laughs> Been a minute since I played some Outer Worlds. Been stuck on that Tears of the Kingdom lately. How is that treating you? Have you made any crazy inventions? I've seen some really fucking weird stuff be made in that game. Oh my god, I saw a guy literally make, like, a mech and pilot it around, you know, like, an attacking enemy bases and so on. Very cool stuff. <laughs> Flamethrower! There are spiders in the game? Actually, probably, yeah. I kind of like the look of this helmet, though. Look at that, that's sinister, right? It's a very sinister-looking helmet. It gives inspiration bonus, whereas this doesn't give any. Hmm, it could be a good idea. A durable god thingy me jiggy. Nah. And it's not better than what we've got right now. I think I might have some of the best armor for this part of the game. There's way better in some of the bigger, uh, like, icer places in towns and so on, but right now, we're not doing too bad. So you play Hot Daddy Game. <laughs> Does playing the game make you old? Nah, you're only as old as you feel. <laughs> which, in which case, I'm ready to retire. But, you know. Look at that. See? Missed that one. Let's get in there. Granted, you're a dad, uh, dad and wife thinks you're hot, but I didn't know the game was a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the forms of Ganon, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, some of them are better than others, you know. Some of them are really, you know, the Ganon, and then there's just Ganons afterwards. Ooh. Hi. Oh, you guys are getting in my way. Still got it. Ew. Oh my god, this is wrapped on poop. Don't step in it, guys. Gross. 
Grab everything. Decock Arena of Time, Ganon over Calamity Ganon, and <laughs> rehydrated Ganon. <laughs> yes, just add water. And, uh, you have a Ganon. Oin. Hmm, I couldn't shoot through there. Boo. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, guys. Your faces have been sensor blurred. What's going on there? That's probably a confusion state. I remember this place being a little bit disorienting as well. Isn't much of a priority, I take it. No, not really. Armory note. If you need to get into the armory and don't have a code, ask me. I'm not if I'm not around, check the front desk at the Bionics lab. Well, we already know the code. One, two, three, four. The securest of codes that there are. Hmm. Is there such a Ganon? Is there a dry Ganon? There could be. There are infinite universes. Oh god, is there a make me wet Ganon? Taking things too far. No such thing in this channel. Well, there probably is, but that's nowhere near it. Don't worry. Didn't know you could build things in Tears of the Kingdom. I went into the game blind and you avoided the trailers. Oh, right. Well, I hope I haven't spoiled anything for you then. Like, I don't know if it's a thing that unlocks in the game. I've just seen Instagram reels of people having these, like, things that they've obviously made themselves. And, uh, like, using gizmos and contraptions. And then they activate them and shit happens. And it's like, whoa, okay. Maybe you missed uh, Twitter fame when they released the trailer with Dry Ganon and Twitter started making a hot art of rehydrated Ganon and now they put a hot Ganon in game? Really? Was that a thing? Okay, so this is the new pistol the guy was making. It's functional, untrained personnel must attend safety seminars, blah blah blah. Current ammunition counts not found. Okay, well, whatever. Don't care. I'm just here to loot every goddamn thing. Plasma carbine. That's different from the plasma rifle, yeah? And already it's looking nicer. It's a level 13. Although individual damage is down, DPS is higher because the rate of fire must be um, much bigger. And the magazine size is going to be lower. We do have a mod on there, but that's only giving us 50% more ammo. So, you know. Hmm. This is half the ammunition, so the initial ammo count is still going to be lower. Oh, do we want to swap into that, maybe, and give it a whirl? It doesn't have all the mods, but it doesn't necessarily need it. We'll see if it's any better. Dead Eye Assault Rifle. Ooh. That's like a sniping rifle. Not necessary in here, but... Yeah. I like how less of the screen it takes up. It's not as chonky. Okay. We're going down. Mm -hmm. Even better, Ganon has the voice of Matt Mercer. Oh, did he do the voice? To be in here. I didn't know that. Somewhere in all this disorder and chaos, waiting to be salvaged. Let's see, what's the terminal tell us? Maintenance logs for week one. Old sex patrol route passed too close to experimental subject pens. Now there's wrapped spit gunking up the servos on its gun arm. We don't have a replacement arm. We guess we disassemble this one for parts. At least 12 and 17 are still working. Someone tried to disable mandatory consumer broadcasts on 17. Thing got stuck on maximum volume mode. We factory reset it. That's terrible. Oh my god. Social media extent is basically uh, this right here, you telling me about Hot Daddy Ganon. <laughs> now you want to Google it. Do it. Do it. 
Yeah, so Yorana is basically here to just corrupt the, uh, the morality of everybody. Uh, she is an anti-morale um, officer, but not, not morale as in, like, you know, people's feeling goodness. Uh, more like their morals. <laughs> anti-moral officer, not morale. <laughs> Anti-morals officer. Yes, that's a, that's basically it. Yeah. Twelve had a serious malfunction today. Uh, Porter accidentally tripped one of the sensors inside the walls. Blasted unit thought everything was an intruder and started shooting. Oh no! No response on the behavior modules for the time being. Hmm. So basically, everything here went to shit as well. Okay, this doesn't hit as hard, but. Electric damage is general. Stand fucking still. That's the last of them. Yeah, shock damage is generally better on robots. Where'd this one go? He just kind of vaporized. Hmm. Oh, where's this thing we're supposed to be getting? Not down here, that's for sure. Oh, the schematic. That's what we're here for. Detailed drawings and advanced pistol. Revisions and comments are scrolled across the image, most illegibly writing. It was written by a doctor, um, except for the name Orson Shaw scribbled in the corner. The schematics depict a something pistol, not even trying. Um, uh, from a brand name Force. Uh, which is not native to the Halcyon colony. It's unclear from these plans what the uh, non does. It's unclear how to pronounce it as well. The schematics... I need a schematic to know how to pronounce the schematic name. And suddenly we find ourselves in the 12 tasks of Asterix, <laughs> where we... <laughs> Just go round in circles of bureaucracy, trying to obtain schematics and permits to get the schematics, and we need an appointment to get a permit for the schematic, and so on. Oh, that was such a funny, funny movie. And my god, I probably just dated myself horribly there, but I loved that as a kid. Asterix was the best. Anybody else like Asterix? What is it's nothing there that we need. Just scoop everything up and run. <laughs> Gibberish. It is. It's, yeah. <laughs> Not trying to pronounce it then speaks German. Pretty much. Look at this revolver. I'm, I'm a sucker for a good revolver. The Vermin. Hmm. That's a heavy weapon as well. I do love me a good revolver, though. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hang on to that. What else have we got in here? We've got a bunch of shit in here. Wonder if there's an upstairs to this place. Okay, messages. Dr. Crane, pursuant to our conversation on the previous uh, week, RE, why is the ammunition storage locker larger than my bathroom? I have dispatched Sullivan with a triplicate paperwork you requested. As a reminder, I am currently the sole property manager for all three facilities and I remain the only person required to sleep on site rather than in Roseway. According to human resource standards, my position entitles uh, me to refreshment facilities um, of not less than four square meters. They actually have that in their contracts. I spent all of yesterday cleaning a man's arm out of a giant meat grinder and I don't even have a damn shower out here. Fix it or I'm going to start breaking into your room and showering there. Then you can experience the joy of cleaning gristle out of your drains. Remember, I have entire crates of mag picks here. You know I can do it. Respectfully, Maria Volkova. That sounds very, very respectful. You watched Asterix and Cleopatra the other week. Really? <laughs> nice. Never heard of Asterix? To Google for the movie and um, possibly Hot Daddy Ganon. Excellent. Asterix and Obelix. Yes. The best gore there is. It was such a good cartoon series. I loved it. 
I'm starting to run low on caffeine supplements. Any chance you could bring some by? Had the urge to rearrange my storeroom all day. Maybe you can help with that again or not. We could hike into the, ter to the terraformer. It's been a while since last time. Wind in my hair, just quiet. I wouldn't mind that. Feels like all I do anymore is mop viscera and sit here twiddling my thumbs. I don't know, you tell me, Masha. Anton, haven't heard back from you, RE the paperwork, there was a receipt of acknowledgement right at the top. I expect you to sign and return forthwith. While I have your eye, I have also, uh, have you heard from Porter? Doesn't seem like anyone's responding to messages today. From Porter, new. Things are hairy out here. Lock the doors, keep your head down, stay safe, Me uh, Meshen Meshenka. I'll come for you. Then we have inventory logs, damn, this is a full terminal. Hmm. Okay. Well, these are just inventory logs. Eh. What is this? I found... Can I not reach it? There it is. Purpleberry wine. <gasps> Tasty. Okay, that takes us back out to Roseway. I'm looting oh, everything. Need all the loot that go? Did we go through here? Like we might not have? Oh, we did. Yeah, this was the armory. Why is the door closed? Confusing me. Ooh, yeah, there's an upstairs to this place. I want to get in there. Let's see if we can get through this door and upstairs somehow. I don't know if I'm glad or worried that I looked up Hot Daddy Gannon. Oh no. <laughs> Just don't show your wife. What are you googling? Clear your internet browser history. Oh, there's the stairs. Aha. Uh -huh. They get sucked into the internet deeper with all this knowledge. Ooh. Such a language. Such innuendo. Such big piles of raptor on feces. Ew. Oh, hi. Yeah, does this right just run in front of me? A flaw? I have a flaw? Nice! Hello, Ripley. How's it going? Best breakfast wrap I've ever had. Was that the Timmy's? Really? Hmm. I've never had theirs. I've had their breakfast bagels. I like those. That's generally what I'd get if I go there. Never really tried much of anything else. I did have their turkey bacon club um, about a week or so ago. I, I was in town and got lunch um, like last week, I think it was. I walked down into town to go get groceries and uh, after the stream. It was like an impromptu run into town and went to get a turkey bacon club while I waited for the bus to take me back home. But yeah, uh, that was nice. But that's the only other thing I've ever had from them. Didn't know Ganon was uh, back in the game. Not in this form, at least I accidentally found Phantom Ganon. Oh no, Phantom Ganon? Does he live under an opera? Tim's Farmer Rap is amazing. You have to get it before 11 a.m. I've seen that. I just haven't tried any of their other stuff yet. I don't really go there much for food. I've, I've only really been there to get a drink a couple of times when I've been in town because... My preferred stop to get picked up at in town is close to Walmart, because that's usually why I'm in town, is to do grocery shopping. And the uh, the stop is just down the road, and there's a Timmy's right there. So, especially in the winter, it was nice to get picked up there because it was cold, and I'm not sitting around at a bus stop waiting to get picked up by the bus. I will wait in Timmy's until I see the buses on the way, because it's a dial-a-ride system. It's like calling for an Uber, basically, but a bus version. So, yeah, I'd sit there and wait, and sit inside and get a hot drink, so I'd get hot chocolate or something, but I've usually always already had breakfast here before I go to town. In the summer, I, I got into the habit of getting picked up there last year, because there are also bench seats. Uh, there's like a, a, a road that comes out of the parking lot from, uh, like, Walmart's here, parking lot here, Timmy's here, main road here, and then there's, like, the, the road to get into the parking lot down here and then there's more shops on the other side and the sun will be over here in the morning 
casting shadow that way, and there's benches here that I could sit in the shade. <laughs> and the stop was just here on the main road, so... Yeah, I got into the habit of doing that, and then I would, like, shelter in Timmy's during the winter. So, yeah, that's the only reason I've been there, usually. I don't normally get breakfast there. It may be a spoiler for me, but a spoiler that makes me sweat. He definitely got me rehydrated. Ooh, well then. Oh dear. Happy lurking as well, Miss Prague. Thank you for coming in. Do enjoy your day, googling odd stuff. <laughs> so what have we got? A flaw. During adventures you may happen to uh, may happen to your character that you trigger a flaw. The choice is yours, whether I take it or not. I get a perk point if I take it. Robophobia. Auto mechanicals give you the willies, and when you're nearby, you're not as effective as you should be. Hmm, my dexterity, perception, and temperament go down, but I get a reward point. Is this any auto mechanical? Not just, um, not just uh, what is it ones? Uh, not just hostiles. Mm hmm. I'm gonna take it though. That could be fun, and I want a perk point, so... Do we have anything in here we still want to get in the old perks? Getting more XP from companion kills now? I should have taken that earlier, but we could probably get that now. Movement accuracy penalty is reduced. That's a good one. 25% chance to reset a companion ability cooldown when you crit hit. Time dilation. I keep forgetting about the time dilation thing. Uh, restores per kill. Uh, add a companion ability. Has a chance to reset the companion ability cooldown. 50% science weapon damage. 20% mm. companion ability cooldown from kills. 25% movement speed during time dilation. 15% health restored per kill. That could be very useful. 20% uh, bonus to headshot and weak spot damage. Consumable weight is reduced. Very nice, I like that. Interactable um, highlight range is increased. Carry capacity bonus for companion. Oh, I forget they can carry stuff for you, of course. Vendor buy prices are increased and dialogue skill plus 10. Let's go with the vendor buy prices. Since it's a bonus one, let's go for that. Another soul broken by me. <laughs> you are corrupting people. All right, so through here. Got him. Grab all the loot. How am I doing carry capacity wise? We're getting there. <laughs> We're going to need to run back to town probably before we go do the actual main quest for this, uh, this side quest. Way to live. That's a miserable way to die. You ain't living, Felix. This is what's called dead. Jesus, boy. What have we got? Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel like this is everything. Ah. Looks like we cleared the whole damn place. Yeah, we're probably going to want to run back to town and empty our pockets. I see you over there, loot crates. Whoop! Oosh! Any more on t Oh, there's a big one over there. Okay. Hup. And hup. Nice. You hate carry capping games, just uh, give me magical pockets and I'll be happy, yes. I, I'm not a big fan of it, but, you know, I understand it as well as a game thing. You know, it needs to be done, I guess. <laughs> 